From a brand new cozy game releases, discounts and trailers, to fresh new devlogs and update patches, we've got even more exciting cozy news to cover this month. And we've got absolutely no time to waste. So let me show you what's new first and then you can let me know your favorite highlights. <laughs> Let's go! The Steam Farming Fest is ongoing for three more days until May 6. So if you've got a bunch of farming titles wishlisted, don't be surprised to possibly see them all discounted at the same time. We've got Stardew Valley, Fae Farm, Sunhaven, Rune Factory 5, Immortal Life, or maybe the new Echoes of the Plum Grove. <laughs> Speaking of which, definitely stay with me because I will be getting into that exciting title in just a bit. But not only Steam's Farming Fest has everything we could possibly desire. Humble Games Down on the Farm Bundle is also still on for another week, including 8 farming games for $20 in total. So if you are on a shopping spree, I put the links for both events in my video description below. Mark your calendars because Sunnyside, our indie farming game and a social sim hybrid with Japanese countryside vibes will celebrate its full release on May 25th. But if you can't wait until then and you want to get a first taste of the game, check out their demo on Steam which also has been updated to include the newest quality of life content such as an in-game phone app called Plant Daddy Companion that contains all valuable info about our crops and additionally the ability to swim and fish in the ocean. Runa, our highly anticipated sci-fi life sim JRPG, has reached more of its stretch goals, now unlocking two more datables, Laby and Dennett. This opens up more character routes, dialogues and dates. We have made it, my friends. If you can and haven't yet, please support Runa's Kickstarter, because not only will we get beautiful vocals from Emmy Evans who sang for Nier and Dark Souls, but there is also a full voice acting planned if Runa reaches its stretch goal. Also, if you don't know about Runa yet, feel free to check out my latest video where I talk about the game in more detail. Now, here's a quick but adorable insight into Fields of Mysteria. We get a glimpse of what the interaction menu will look like when we call our animals outside, a very simple and effective feature, with no need to manually push our cows outside and back inside as we had to in some older Harvest Moon titles. Another feature we see is that gift giving won't be limited to human interactions, we can also use it to increase our bond with our very best friends, our pets. Also, who still watches the weather forecast on their TV? In the Fields of Mysteria, we will use our magical crystal ball to see what the weather will bring the next day. If you've been eyeing a Moonlight Peaks like I have, or you are just a huge fan of vampires and everything supernatural, you will be pleased to hear that the devs have released a new demo on Steam. In this demo, we can explore bits of the game such as new crops, a farming quest line, and a bit of fishing. Don't forget to wishlist Moonlight Peaks if you haven't already, because this one looks like just the right kind of supernatural farming sim with romance elements that is reawakening the teenager in me and letting me go for cute vampire and werewolf characters. Pixel Sprout Studios is announcing their biggest upcoming patch ever for Sunhaven. Patch 1.4 will be the final patch right before its console release on the Nintendo Switch. So this will be the perfect time to pick up the game soon if you haven't already. I haven't talked about a Sunhaven before, but let me tell you, this is a magical life sim where we can be absolutely any creature and race we want to be. And it is so much fun. With this patch, we are not only getting two more romanceable characters, Akarish and Zarya, but also an entire underwater world, with a mysterious sunken city to dive into, new friends to make and enemies to defeat. We can also finally expect children to be added to our game. They will grow up from babies to toddlers and can then explore Sunhaven's world on their own and occasionally act as quest givers. 
Another great piece of news is that they will also be highly customizable, just like our main character. They are also adding a black market, where you can purchase special items and exotic eggs that will hatch into rare pet breeds. Additionally, there will be a range of quality of life flavor dialogues for existing romance interactions and a bunch of bug fixes. As a huge Lord of the Rings fan, I just have to quickly address the new Tales of the Shire reveal trailer that was uploaded about a week ago. And I really don't know what to think of it yet, if I'm completely honest. Tales of the Shire is going to be a cozy life sim adventure where we will live a peaceful life as a hobbit, enjoying the simple farming pleasures and the serene landscapes of Middle-earth. I can't deny that I have forever been waiting for a beautiful, a cozy game set in this universe that has such rich lore and such a vibrant, diverse world. But can this title really become everything we could have wanted? We will have to wait for more info, as this trailer does not reveal any specifics yet. I am somewhat cautiously optimistic, but what are you guys thinking so far? <laughs> Let me know down below. Coral Island has announced their big 1.1 update to drop on May 20th, so be ready to finally get into underwater farming and ranching, mermaid romance, and more lovely aquatic NPCs. In their newest devlog, they have now released the absolutely adorable designs of the five underwater creatures that we get to take care of underwater, as well as a further insight into the underwater farming process. According to them, we will still be, I quote, hoeing around a bunch, but with the big difference being not only the variety of underwater crops, but the requirement to provide them with light instead of water. For that, we will be using a fancy new tool called the Lumina Wand. <laughs> and of course, with this aquatic update, we will get to enjoy a variety of new underwater themed items and decor. There will also be lots of other quality of life elements added in this patch, such as a speech bubble that will display a daily dialogue of our spouse to make our gameplay even more immersive. Also, the library now slowly gets populated as we increase our town rank. Some books now offer perks when read, such as mastery points. And most importantly, there are two special books that give us a permanent buff that boosts the rate we earn relationship points. consequences, dynamic neighborhoods, and aging. This is everything I could have ever wanted in a life sim, and Echoes of the Plum Grove has it. Newly released on April 29th, the game is inviting us on a historical adventure to the town of Honeywood, where our actions have consequences and shape not only our own fate, but the entire island community. Everyone is leading their own lives, working their day jobs, getting married, having their own kids, but we can forge bonds among the community to survive the harsh winters. And if our character dies, we just carry on our legacy with someone else in our family tree. Echoes of the Plum Grove is not only absolutely adorable with its 2.5D paper cutout design, it simply incorporates mechanics that breathe so much life into a life simulation. And don't worry if you want to lead a less dramatic farmer's life. You can absolutely turn off aging and other unwanted consequences in the settings. Lastly, in a Tales of Seiku's latest devlog, we get a very small insight into Yui's heart event, in which Yui is ready to share her self-made cake with us. Also, a boss fight reveal with a ninja tanuki, and we also get a glimpse into the newest tavern design where we will be able to go for food and drinks. Which one is your favorite update or game? It's a tough choice, but Echoes of the Plum Grove definitely has my heart this month. As always, let's chat about your impressions in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you. But that's everything from me. Have a lovely day, my friends, and see you in the next video.